Central Sunday School. Today's Bible lesson comes from John 20, verses 1 through 16. And today, we're going to talk about one of the most important events in the Bible. You see, when Jesus died, it was a very sad day when he died on the cross for his friends and for his family. But there are two men who helped prepare his body so that it could be buried. Their names were Joseph and Nicodemus. They prepared his body and they buried it in a tomb. And his body laid there for three days. But on the third day, Jesus rose again. He was, well, let's read what happened, shall we? This, you can follow along in your Bible, John chapter 20, verses 1 through 16. The first day of the week cometh Mary Magdalene, when it was yet dark, unto the sepulchre, meaning the tomb, and the stone, and seeth that the stone was taken away from the sepulchre. Then she runneth and cometh unto Simon Peter, and to the other disciple, whom Jesus loved, and said unto them, They have taken away the Lord out of the sepulchre, and we know not where they have laid him. Peter therefore went forth, and the other disciple, and came to the sepulchre. So they both, so ran the, so they ran both together, and the other disciple did outrun Peter, and came first to the sepulchre. And he, stooping down and looking in, saw the linen cl cloths laying there, yet went he not in. Then cometh Simon Peter following him, and went into the sepulchre, and seeth the linen clothes lie. And the napkin that was about his head, not lying with the linen cloth, but wrapped together in a place by itself. Then went in also that other disciple, which came first to the sepulchre, and he saw and believed. See, Mary told Simon Peter and the other disciple about Jesus' body being taken, and they went to check it out themselves. And they saw that his body wasn't there. And this was the third day after he had been buried. For yet, as they knew not the scripture, that he must rise again from the dead, then the disciples went away again unto their own home. But Mary stood without at the sepulchre weeping. And as she wept, she stooped down and looked down into the sepulchre, and seeth two angels in white, the one sitting at the head and the other at the feet, where the body of Jesus had lain. And they said unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? She saith unto them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I know not where they have lain him. And when she had said thus, when she had thus said, she turned herself back and saw Jesus standing and knew not that it was Jesus. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? Whom seekest thou? She, supposing him to be a gardener, saith unto him, Sir, if thou hast borne him hence, Tell me where thou hast slain him, and I will take him away. Jesus saith unto her, Mary. She turned herself, and saith unto him, Rabboni, which is to say, Master. So, the disciples had forgotten that Jesus had said he was to rise again on the third day. And he did. And he was shown himself unto Mary Magdalene. But what is so important about Jesus rising from the dead? Well, because Jesus rose from the dead, we can have eternal life. How long is eternal life, really?
Well, do you see this, how long this cord is? It's way longer than this. In fact, there's no cord in the world that can represent how long eternity is. But you see, when Jesus died on the cross, it wasn't just the end of his life here on earth, but it was also the end of sin having control over us. You see, because Jesus died for us, and he took away our sin once we accept him as our Savior. And because of that, we can live forever with him in eternity. And because we can live with him in eternity, well, imagine what that'd be like. You could be with Jesus, our Lord and our Savior, for all of eternity. If you accept him as your Savior, we can live because Jesus is alive. Jesus is the one true savior of the world. All the other religions, their leaders have died, and in most places, you can even visit the place where their body is laid. But Jesus is the one true savior who rose from the dead and saved us from our sins. And we have our memory verse today from Matthew 28 6 it says he is not here for he is risen as he had said in Matthew 26 28 6 let's try to say that together he is not here for he is risen as he had said Matthew 28 6 